Hello, everyone. Happy New Year. So, let's practice for DMV 2020 handbook. All right. Let's go there. All right. So, obviously, our state of California, Gavin Newsom, governor, California State Transportation Agency, David S. Kim, secretary. California Department of Motor Vehicles, Stephen Gordon, director. All right, so dear fellow Californian, we have more licensed drivers and registered vehicles than any other state. That means California's roads pose unique challenges for drivers, cyclists, and pedestrians. But when we follow the rules of the road and drive with safety in mind at all times, everyone benefits. That is why this California Driver Handbook is so important within these pages and online at dmv.california.go. You will find information and advice to safely travel the roads of our great state. Whether you are a young driver going over this material for the first time or refreshing your knowledge after years of an on the road experience, I hope you find the content informative, helpful, and practical. Yes, California's traveling environment poses unique challenges from the coast to mountains and everywhere in between. While we may encounter varying conditions as we move throughout the state, the laws on how to reach our destination safely do not. Please be safe when you are behind the wheel and remember to put away your smartphone while driving. Sincerely, David S. Kim, Secretary, California State Transportation Agency. All right, by the way, my name is Cece. So, we are going to practice to get driver license. All right, so let's go down. New 2020 laws, effective January 1st, 2020. SB 485. This law repeals provision that authorize or require courts to suspend, revoke, or restrict a driver or order the Department of Motor Vehicles to delay licensure per a person convicted of prostitution or vandalism, a minor convicted of unlawful possession or use of a firearm or offenses related to possession, purchase, sale, or transport of controlled substances involving the use of a vehicle. The law also prohibits courts from ordering DMV to delay licensure, suspend, revoke, or restrict a person based upon a conviction of minor possessions, use of controlled substances, or alcohol for specific violations. AB 2918. This law requires the DMV to include information in the California Driver Handbook regarding a person's civil rights during a traffic stop, including the right to file a complaint against the peace officer. As specified, the following information was developed by the Civil Rights Section of the Department of Justice in consultation with DMV. The California Highway Patrol, the Commission on Peace Officer Standards and Training, and Civil Rights Organizations. Your right during an enforcement stop. If an officer asks your permission to do something, you have a right to say no. However, if you say no and the officer says they are going to do it anyway, you don't have a right to interfere with their actions. For example, an officer may request to search part or all of your vehicle. You have a right to decline that request, but the officer may have the legal authority to search your vehicle anyway under certain circumstances. If you do not want the officer to search your vehicle, you should clearly say that you don't give your permission, but you don't have a right to resist or obstruct the officer if they receive your vehicle anyway. The driver of a stopped vehicle must produce a driver license, proof of insurance, and vehicle re registration when stopped by law enforcement. If a driver doesn't produce these documents, officers may conduct a limited search for them. An officer may also request the names or identifications of passengers. Passengers can decline that request, but under some circumstances, the passengers may be required to identify themselves anyway. 
If passengers do not want to purchase their identification, they should clearly say so. Passengers shouldn't interfere with the officer's duties conducting the traffic stop, and if an officer demands identification, passengers shouldn't interfere with the officer's actions. During a traffic stop, an officer can legally require the driver and all passengers to exit or stay inside the vehicle. If you are told to exit the vehicle or stay inside, you must do so. In California, only federal law enforcement officers can ask you about your immigration status. California law herb prohibits state and local officers from asking drivers or passengers about their immigration status. If a California law enforcement officer asks you about your immigration status, you can decline to answer. In general, the First Amendment protects the right of drivers and passengers to record interactions with police in public spaces. If you are recording, you should immediately make that clear. You don't have a right to interfere with the officer's lawful duties during the enforcement stop, and you shouldn't reach into concealed areas to retrieve your recording device without the officer permission. If your recording is not interfering with the officer's ability to lawfully do their job, an officer cannot confiscate your recording device. Delete the recording or destroy the device just because you are using it to record. In general, you also have the right to deny a request to unlock a cellular phone or provide a password to it. Though under some circumstances, such as if you are on a parole, you may have to give permission in response to such requests. Finally, no government employee can retaliate against you just because you recorded something in public. Even if you believe your rights were violated, you shouldn't engage in physical resistance or violence against the officer. If an officer does something that you believe violates your rights, you can voice your objection, but you shouldn't physically resist. Everyone has the right to be safe during a traffic stop. Your safety, the officer's safety, could be jeopardized if the situation escalates with physical resistance or violence. All members of the public have a right to file a complaint against any peace officer or law enforcement agency, and it's against the law for any government employee to retaliate against you for doing so. You can file a complaint with any agency that employs the officer, whether sheriff's office, police department, or any other law enforcement agency. You have a right to be free from discrimination based on your actual or perceived race, sex. Color, ethnicity, national origin, age, religion, gender identity or expression, sexual orientation, mental or physical disability, medical condition, or citizenship status. You also have other rights granted by the United States and California constitutions, as well as California and federal laws. When you file a complaint, the agency that employs the officer must investigate the complaint. Link to contact information for California law enforcement agency can be found at post.ca.gov/le/agencies.dot. All right. So DMV information. We don't need to talk about that. All right, we are going to now do study, and then end of this video, this lesson, video lesson, we are going to take some exam together. All right, driver license classes, class C. You may drive to X vehicle with a gross vehicle weight rating. Of twenty six thousand pounds or less, three X vehicles weighing six thousand lbs or less gross, house car forty feet or less in length, three wheel motorcycle with two wheels located in the front or back, van pool vehicle designed to carry more than ten persons but no more than fifteen persons, including the driver. 
A driver of a van full may operate with a Class C license, but shall possess evidence of a medical examination required for a, a Class B license when operating van full vehicles. All right, so these are, I think you guys may know already. So we don't have to cover. Let's go to the real lesson. All right, so this is important thing over here, address change. So when you move, you must give DMV your new address within 10 days. There is no fee in change your address. You may notify DMV of your address change up for your DLID card and vehicle online dmcalfern.gov. You may also download change of address, DM14 form or call DMV at request. So it has to be in 10 days. So it, it may ask at our exam. All right, so let's start our lesson. And we are going to start with the pedestrian responsibilities. Pedestrian, including George, should be aware of traffic condition. Watch out for drivers before assuming you have the right of way when crossing a street. Be aware that hybrid and electric vehicles are virtually silent. When running on electric power on, you may not hear them approaching an intersection. Yell the right of way to vehicles when you cross the street between intersection and in areas with no pedestrian crosswalk on signals. Remember, making eye contact with a driver doesn't mean the driver will yield the right of way. Do not suddenly leave a curb or other safe place and walk or run into the path of vehicle close enough to be danger to you. This is true even though you are in a crosswalk. The law states that drivers must always yield the right of way to a pedestrian, but if the driver cannot stop in time to avoid hitting you, you still run, run, run the risk of being hit. Avoid distractions as a pedestrian. Do not use your cell phone or electronic wireless communications device while moving. To avoid becoming a hazard to vehicles and other pedestrians, you should be aware of your surroundings at all times. Always obey traffic signal lights. Whether the intersection has pedestrian or traffic signal lights, you must obey the pedestrian rules. Refer to page 29 to 30. We'll go there. At an intersection where traffic is not controlled by traffic signal lights, drivers are required to yield the right of way to a pedestrian with any crosswalk, marked or unmarked. When a traffic signal light changes to green or walk, look left, right, and then left again. Yield the right of way to any vehicle in the intersection before the traffic signal light changes. If the traffic signal light begins blinking or changes don't work, or to an upraised hand after you have gone part way across the divided street, you may continue across the street. Do not stop or delay traffic unnecessarily while crossing a street. Pedestrians are not permitted on any toll bridge or highway crossing unless there is a side and walk and signs stating pedestrian traffic is permitted. If there are no sidewalk facing oncoming traffic, do not walk or jog on any freeway where signs tell you that pedestrians are not loved. Do not walk or jog in the bike lane unless there's no sidewalk. At night, Make yourself, make yourself more visible while wearing white light or reflective material clothing, carrying a flashlight. New technology. Your vehicle may have technology that allows you to have cell phone conversations or play music 
from an electronic wireless communications device. With the increase of such technologies, it's important to remain aware of a road condition and avoid driving distractions. Here are some tips of to reduce technological distractions. Do not input na navigation instructions while driving. Do not adjust music or other electronic wireless communication device while driving. For navigation devices, use the audio navigation function when possible. Technologies such, such as backup cameras and self-parking cannot solely be used in a driving test. The purpose of driving test is to ensure your ability to drive. All right, occupant, occupant protection, seat belt. Wearing seat belt is the law. Always fasten your seat belt and make sure all your passengers are using seat belts or child restraints. Wearing seat belts, both lap belt and shoulder harness will increase your chances of survival in most types of collisions. It's important to wear the seat belt correctly. A shoulder harness is worn across the shoulder chest with minimal, if any, slack. The shoulder harness shouldn't be worn under the arm or behind the back. Wearing the harness the wrong way could cause serious internal injuries in the collision. The lap belt should be adjusted so that it is snug and lies low across your hips after fastening. Otherwise, in a crash, you could slide out of the belt, resulting in injury or death. Pregnant women should wear the lap belt as low as possible under the dom, and the shoulder strap should be placed between the breasts and to the side of the abdominal bulge. You and all passengers must wear a seat belt or you and your passengers may be seated. If the passenger is under 16 years old, you may be seated. They are not wearing their seat belt. The graphic illustrates what can happen in a collision. If you are struck from the side, the impact could push you back and forward across the seat. Seat belts and shoulder harnesses keep you in a better position to control the vehicle and may minimize serious injuries. The graphic also illustrates how, when you call out, your vehicle stops, but you keep going at the same time speed you are traveling until you hit the dashboard or windshield. So let's see closer. So this is showing how we need to wear our seat belt. Okay, child restraint system and safety seats. All right, so these ones, we can read it our own. All right, so we are going to traffic controls now. Traffic signal lights, solid red. A red traffic signal light means stop. You can make a right turn against a red traffic signal light after you stop. Yield to pedestrians, bicyclists, and vehicles close enough to be a hazard. Make the right turn only when it's safe. Do not turn if a no turn on red sign is posted. Red arrow. A red arrow means stop. Remain stopped until the green signal or green arrow appears. Do not turn against a red arrow. Flashing red. A flashing red traffic signal light means stop. After stopping, you may proceed when it's safe. Observe the right of way rules. Solid yellow. A yellow traffic signal light means caution. The red traffic signal light is about to appear. When you see the yellow traffic signal light, stop if you can do so safely. If you cannot, stop safely. Cross the intersection cautiously. Yellow arrow. A yellow arrow means the protected turning time period is ending. Be prepared to obey the next traffic signal light, which could be the green or red traffic signal light or red arrow. Flashing yellow. 
a flashing yellow traffic signal light warns you to proceed with caution, slow down, and be alert before entering the intersection. Yell to any pedestrians, bicyclists, or vehicles in the intersection. You don't need to stop for a flashing yellow traffic signal light. Flashing yellow arrow. This traffic signal light means turns are permitted, unprotected, but you must first yell to oncoming traffic and pedestrians, and then proceed with caution. Solid green. Give the right of way to any vehicle, bicyclist, or pedestrian in the intersection. A green traffic signal light means go. If you're turning left, make the Turn only if you have enough space to complete the turn before creating a hazard for any oncoming vehicle, bicyclist, or pedestrian. Do not enter the intersection if you cannot get completely across before the traffic signal line turns red. If you block the intersection, you can be seated. Green arrow. A green arrow means go. You must turn in the direction the arrow is pointing after you yield to any vehicle, bicyclist, or pedestrian still in the intersection. The green arrow allows you to make a protected turn. Oncoming vehicles, bicyclists, and pedestrians are stopped by a red traffic signal light as long as the green arrow is lighted. Traffic signal light not working. Black out. The traffic signal light is not working and or no lights are showing on the signal. Proceed cautiously as if the intersection is controlled by stop signs in all directions. Pedestrian signal lights. Pedestrian traffic signal lights show word or words or pictures similar to the following examples. Walk or walking person. Pedestrian traffic signal light means it is legal to cross the street. Don't walk or raised hand. Pedestrian traffic signal light means you may not start crossing the street. Flashing don't walk or flashing raised hand. Traffic signal light means do not start crossing the street because the traffic signal light is about to change. If a pedestrian begins crossing the street after the traffic signal light starts flashing, wait until the pedestrian has crossed the street before proceeding. Pedestrian traffic signal lights may also show numbers to indicate how many seconds remain for crossing. These pedestrian traffic signal lights allow pedestrians flexibility to speed up if the crossing phase is about to expire. Pedestrian phases, also called pedestrian scrambles, are a series of crisscross, diagonal crosswalks, that allow pedestrians to cross in any interaction at the same time, including diagonally across the intersection. These signals stop all vehicles traffic during the scramble phase. Some pedestrian traffic signal lights may provide a beefing or chirping sound or verbal message. These traffic signal lights are designed to help blind or visually impaired pedestrians cross the street. And many traffic signal lights, you need to push the pedestrian button to activate the walk or walk in person. Pedestrian traffic signal light, if there are no pedestrian signal, obey the vehicle traffic signal lights. Traffic signs. The shape and color of a sign offers you a clue about the information contained on the sign. Here are the common shapes used. So after this page, we are going to take our first test and we'll and today's lesson. All right. An eight-sided red stop sign indicates that you must make a full stop whenever you see this sign. Stop at the white limit line, a white line painted on the street, or before entering the crosswalk. If a limit line or crosswalk is not painted on the street, stop before entering the intersection. Check traffic in all directions before proceeding. This means Stop, stop, stop. All right. A three-sided red yield sign indicates that you must slow down and be ready to stop if necessary to let any vehicle, bicyclist, or pedestrian pass before you proceed. Also, stop. A square red and white regulatory sign indicates that you must 
follow the sign's instruction. For example, do not enter sign means do not enter a road or off ramp where the sign is posted, usually on a freeway off ramp. The wrong way sign may or may not be posted with the do not enter sign. If you see one or both of these signs, do not enter or wrong way, drive to the side of the road and stop. You're going to against traffic. When safe, back up or turn around and return to the road you were on. At night, if you are going to the wrong way, the road reflectors will shine red in your headlights. A sign that has a red circle with a red line through it always indicates no. The picture inside the circle shows what you cannot do. The sign may be shown with or without words. For example, this one, no U-turn. A yellow and black circular sign or an X-shaped sign indicates that you are approaching a railroad crossing. You must look, listen, slow down, and prepare to stop if necessary. Let any trains pass before you cross it. Many railroad crossings will also have a blue and white sign to indicate what to do if there is an emergency or, or near the tracks or if your vehicle has stalled on the tracks. A five-sided sign indicates that you are near a school stop if children are in the crosswalk. A four-sided diamond-shaped sign warns you of specific road conditions and dangers ahead Many warning signs are diamond shaped. Hmm. All right, well, we covered today until page 31. So we are going to our exam for today. So we're going to say the MV pre written, pre written test. And it's going to be on actual DMV site. And here we go. This is actually my favorite um, test. We're going to go to class C test number one. All right. Test one. You may drive off of the paved roadway to pass another vehicle. All right. So we're just going to go to everything first one. Okay. So bear with me. What are we going to do is we are going to see which one is the correct ones. All right. So we have now correct ones. You may drive off the paved roadway to pass another vehicle. That's under no circumstances. You are approaching a railroad crossing with no warning devices and are unable to see 400 feet down the tracks in one direction. The speed limit is 15 mph. When parking your vehicle parallel to the curb on a level street, your wheels must be within 18 inches of the curb. When you are merging onto freeway, you should be driving at or near the same speed as the traffic on the freeway. When driving in fog, you should use your low beams. A white painted curb means loading zone for passengers or mail only. A school bus ahead of you in your lane is stopped with the red lights flashing. You should stop as long as the red lights are flashing. California's basic speed law says you should never drive faster than is safe for current conditions. You just sold your vehicle. You must notify the DMV within five days. To avoid last-minute moves, you should be looking down the road to where your vehicle will be in about 10 to 15 seconds. All right, everyone. Thank you for um, watching my video. And uh, I will see you guys um, the next video of our lessons. And good luck to everyone. Practice, practice, practice.